Hello and welcome back to Grim Dawn. Um, we are picking up exactly where we left off last time, although we've had to fight our way to get here. So um, we've actually both just managed to gain enough experience to just tip us over the edge into level 33. Um, Hurrah! What say we um, allocate our new skill points, etc. That sounds like a plan, um, but while we're doing that, uh, I'm just going to actually point out that I've changed my entire setup. Oh yes, uh, completely. Um, I am no longer the pointiest warrior out there. Uh, instead, I've taken all my points out of the retaliation skills, so I'm not doing vindictive flame. I'm not doing all Zane's wrath, uh, and I've moved my devotions away from uh, basically being a porcupine. And instead, I've pushed all the way down the Nightblade tree uh, to execution because 17% reduction to enemy's health, one in five chance of being used. Yes, please, and then more damage on top. Yes, please. That I'm a very good. Machine. And I've got three extra points available, so I'm just going to go one point in there, one point in there, and one um, point in there. And I these don't guys care say about you smell. Uh, Murder. <laughs> one, one, three, six. That was less. That was less as well. But yes, yeah, so I'm. I'm pretty. I'm going to be very good against bosses. Yeah, it's the um, the life reduction, which I think is going to make the big point. Yeah, especially after that last fight where we're not going to mention the fact that someone died. I'm heading downstairs. Uh, oh, we I are downstairs. My... Oh, yeah. Correct. You've just headed upstairs. I've just headed upstairs. I forgot which way we were going. Uh, so, when I say heading downstairs, I mean this way, of course. Follow me. I did wonder why there were still people alive on the floor. Oh, jeez, that's a monstrous thing. Oh, well, go okay. kill it, It's actually a skeletal monstrosity. Yeah, you can see its health shooting down. As I shoot it really... with fire. No. no, it's not you shooting it. Shut up. Little spot of murder. You see my other fire spreading everywhere. Yes. Oh, more people in the middle. You're going to kill them before I even get close. What's the point of me? There you go. I'll leave you that guy. It? Yeah, the one that hurts to hit. Also, the Just warlock. Generous, thank you. Well, you take so long to kill trash mobs that I do it, it, it for takes you. me so long to run up to them because I'm not ranged like you. Also, as much as I do do stupidly overpowered damage, you do stupidly overpowered <laughs> damage. Yeah, but I would have to play very differently without someone to soak up all of this damage in front of me. <laughs> oh, uh, one thing though, I, I did keep an important skill. Which? Come on, watch this one. Oh, the I can't move, I'm so thorny. Why do you keep hurting yourself? Why do you keep hurting yourself? So while I am, like, not as, uh, yeah, thorny as I was before, I am still quite pointy. I'm not liking the fact that the mobs are dodging a lot more. Um, so I re uh, my uh, devotions. Uh, so I'm doing more damage, and hopefully uh, in the future I'm going to be improving my offensive ability through them as well. Although probably for the next two levels, Etherfire is rank four now. Nice. Uh, probably for the next two levels, uh, I'm going to be just focusing on Nightblade to make my dual wielding kit. Oh, wow, 1,409 damage in one swing. Uh, to make my uh, dual wielding even more effective. Next level for me. Um, if you thought I was doing stupid damage already, I get more stupid. Oh my god. Valgra the Flame Watcher, right, watch his health. Yeah, it's definitely going down. That's that's painful, I'm not standing right next to him. Ow, ow, running away, running away, running away. Here, running I'll away. Block. Running away, yeah, you block. Okay, coming back. Everything else didn't help at all. Right, going back after him. I'm oh, kind of dealing with trash mobs. 
If running can, away, running away. If you can call level 39 things trash mobs. I've actually got a glowing skull above me. What's that? Torment. The undead cursed me. Yeah. That's not cool. Okay, hey, blue uh, thing. Brimstone shoulder guard. That sounds like just my sort of thing. Oh, nice. While we were on our way down here, I did find a blue sword, which I'll use at level 35, but that's a way off. I only got scrap from him. That's totally not fair. There's another one. <laughs> no, that's, that's just smaller. a big monstrosity. That's nothing to worry about. Alright, let's have a look at that shoulder thing. Alright, um, you do that. I'm going to make sure we're safe. Oh, they're part of the um, the brimstone set, which I found the Eyes of Flame of before. Oh, nice. That might be worth going and switching to, if I've still got it. I'm sure you do, because we haven't gone to get more dynamite. Well, sorry, I say we haven't gone to get more dynamite. I've not gone to get more dynamite <laughs> since the last time we played. Not God knows either. what you've done. Do I've dreamt about dynamite. I haven't gone to get any. You have the weirdest dreams. I have the most fun dreams. With dynamite? Yes. Wait, was the Grim Dawn involved, or were you just dreaming about dynamite in itself? Does it matter? Yes! <laughs> it really does! From a legal point of view, I'm certain it matters. From a legal point of view? <laughs> from a legal point of view, I think I could dream about whatever the hell I like, thank you very much. Uh-huh. There's no thought crimes here. Yes. Ow, 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 ow. Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> Alright, I am just going to nip to town and have a look, see. Okay, you do that. There's a portcullis that I'm not going to go through. I'm just going to have a look at the, the wonderful scenery here. Doesn't it look pretty? Got some yes, the eyes of as, flame. Hmm. As Matrix would say, I love the, the scenery and, and like the attention to detail that's gone into the landscaping in this game. Sounds like you're mocking me. No. Why would I mock you? You always mock me. <laughs> right, 1360 to 1582. Is that your standard damage? Uh, yeah. 1395 to 1612. Yes, I do more damage now. Although, I, I, I can't decide if I like this hat more or less. I look certainly more pyromancer. So, sure. Damn skeletons. They're not even skeletal death bolt archers. There we go. I finished off the uh, the map little roundy bit because there was only like one pod that needed killing. Pod? This is an XCOM. Only one batch of monsters. Oh, this is really pretty in here. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, right, look. I think we should not go through the portcullis yet. We should go and explore the rest of the place. Okay, have a look at my face now. Hang on, let me just zoom in and... You you look like either you're wearing a gas mask or a baboon. I don't know which. Bit of both. Bit of both. Yep. Damn dirty ape. No, it's very clean ape, thank you very much. Uh, this way. Are you sure? Oh, did you already... F no, yeah, there's there's bad guys here. We missed them. Yeah, well, uh, you mop up. Sure, I can do the tanking and the damage. If you run into difficulty, let me know. Job done. Well done. Pat yourself on the back. I'm just going to finish exploring this area, because there is more, actually. Uh, it looks like there's lots of dead... Oh, that's obviously somewhere that you've been. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. There was only, like, one pod that needed... Ooh. Okay, so I found another locked treasure chest that needs dynamite. Do you have any dynamite? Because I used mine last time. Oh, I can see a shrine. No, I don't. I'm coming. Well, we used my dynamite last time. Where did yours go? I didn't get any. Oh, no, I did not. No, he only drops one, even in parties. Well, do you want to run back and grab one? Because we could do that. 
we could. Where where is this thing? Oh, treasure trove. Yeah, we could. Where's the shrine? Uh, the shrine is just on the map, a little bit to the west. Shrine first. Uh, wait, which which shrine are you talking about? The desecrated shrine. No, I don't oh, see it. This way. It's literally in this room, right here. Ah, right. Mini map. <laughs> yeah, sorry. The, the the mini map, you know, the one that lets you see a little bit further. Not the map. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just looting the room. Sure. Your looting the room caused things to appear behind us, just FYI. Damn pointy skeletal knights. I wouldn't really need healing potions other than the fact that... Let's open this. Other than the fact yeah, that they're so Nothing pointy. bad came from opening sarcophagi. <laughs> no! And nothing bad ever came from reading a book. All right, what do we have to do for this one? Uh, right, it's fighting stuff. Do you want to summon what's trapped? Too late. This doesn't seem as hard as it normally is. There is a boss here. Don't mind me. I'm just being like pointy tank. Right, now I can focus on Aladon the Flame Watcher. That explains why he's a bit strong to my fire damage. Yeah, but his health is still shooting down. I'm just tearing into him. Go on. Ooh, Banshee's Misery dropped. What's that? It well, is an epic you kill hand. Banshee with a grenade... <laughs> oh no, wait, it's Sky Striker. <laughs> anyway, Devotion Point. Uh, ooh, I got a green... Belt, which would be cool if I did cold damage, which I don't. Um, does this any use to you? Mm, probably not, but thank you. Right, so we've got a devotion. How about point. this? Uh, I can't actually hang on. Let me. Uh, requires more spirit than I've got. No, no, but thank you. Fair enough. No, uh, that's a that's a different kind of night blade. I'm the stabby stabby kind. So we got well, the it sounded quite stabby. I know, but the rest of the things don't really contribute to it. Now. So for where I am at the moment, we've gone for Scholar's Light, and over here we've still got uh, Etherfire from the Imp, and we've gone for the Jackal. Next thing I'm looking at is the May guy over here because he's all about fire damage. Uh, but in order to do that, we need 10 on this Eldritch thing. So we need at least three more Eldritch. So I'm thinking that we could go for Bismil's Bonds, get offensive ability, uh, casting speed, uh, vitality resistance, and then call forth an Eldritch Hound. So we could get a pet. Or we could go for the Fox for extra cunning, or we could go for the Raven. But we're definitely going to do something down here. Uh, yeah, completed constellation bonus for, for this is not enough. Spider could be, but nothing else really is. Oh, Hawk! One, two, three, and that's offensive ability, crit damage, and offensive ability, and fine, it helps a little bit with ranged weapons, but we don't care that much because it's only three points. So we're going to do this. So we're going for the Hawk next, and then we're going to move over to Guy. Would you like to join to me in Cronley's hideout? Uh, I would. Um, yeah, let's just get on in. That way, right? Okay. My dash button's not working. Ow! You never took the charge. I kept telling you you should take that charge skill. Dynamite. Money bags, Martin. That skill's not ready. All right, I'm, I, you know, kind of killing stuff. Wait, have you already killed him? No, he's right here. All right, I'm trying to find my way through the minions to get to you to help. Right. Coming.
Isn't this so much easier? More dynamite and scrap. Huh, kill Darius. He said it's one out of three. Well, we do have a bounty for it. Mighty and sentry shoulder pads of attack, plus three to Blackwater Cocktail. Isn't that one of your skills? No. I mean, it's a skill in Demolitionist, but it's certainly not one that I'm using. <laughs> They're pretty pretty nice, actually. Uh, plus 33% burn. Yeah. I'm going to keep my current one just because of the extra pierce. Am I? No, I'm not. I'm going to swap. Let's get away from feeling like I need to be retaliating against everything. I need to be stabbing everything instead. Have you headed back already? Yes. Okay. I'm on my way. I've got two dynamite. I don't know how much you've got. Oh, I'm finding nice things. I didn't get any dynamite because she picks it all up. Found an exalted stash. Oh, wow. Wow. Marauder's ammo belt. Wait, that's one of your things, isn't it? Hey, gimme, gimme. It might be better than mine. <laughs> Bloody typical. Let's see. For comparison, it is... Oh, yes, it is. One cunning better. Yeah, that is the only relevant stat. 4% extra cold damage and one cunning better. So, thanks. Do you want the old one? Yes, please, because I'm going to blow it up with some dynamite and get something useful <laughs> out of it. That one cunning is probably going to give me, like, an extra damage. Blueprint. Guardsman's Breastplate. Blood of Cthon. Blood of Cthon. Blueprint. Uh, Front-loading rifle. Ooh. Ordered skull fetish and uh, some not that good stuff. I mean, it's, good, it's good for the blueprint. Uh, the rifle itself, I'm not that interested in. Oh, it's two-handed ranged, of course. I'm assuming you're not that interested in it either. Well, I, it's a blueprint I don't have, so if you just wanted to give it to me, I wouldn't say no. It's one I don't have either. <laughs> I, I, ooh, accidentally right-clicked on it. Accidentally. <laughs> hmm. Actually, I'm going to wear your old Marauder's belt. <laughs> what? It does more piercing damage than my current belt does. Uh, it does 14% extra fire damage. My current one does... Uh, it's, it's hard to say. Oh, I don't know. Let's, let's actually have a look at the numbers. So 456 to 638. My average is, is exactly the same. My minimum's gone up, but my maximum's gone down. But I can now dual wield ranged weapons. Hey, I wonder. <laughs> melee dual wielding techniques. And uh, that's a melee dual wielding, so I can't execute people at long range. <laughs> Unlikely. But how cool would that be? Okay, I'm heading back to Devil's Crossing very quickly just to drop some stuff off. You can tell that this is a very well structured playthrough that we're doing. All of the distraction, all of the fun stuff. Uh, yeah, get rid of the belt of Winterstorm. I mean, it sounds so cool in the cutthroat's high slash of the Wolverine. Slash? Sash. That's what I meant. I uh, don't care about that. Get rid of these, get rid of these, get rid of that, 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 and save that to explode. In fact, let's explode it right now, seeing as I have dynamite on me. You dismantle that. Five scrap and a mark of dreek. That was so worth it. In fact, I'm not even going to bother putting those in the stash. I'm just going to head back to where we were. Coming as well. Uh, right, uh, back up to the port colours actually. Yeah. Because we're exploring this bit now. We're heading down to kill the Grand Priest Dujima thing, aren't we? Um, I thought we were doing the we need food. Wait, uh, no, actually, yeah, we are descending into torment to kill Zarthuzel. Something. Oh, you're following me the wrong way. Oh, it's on the right, yeah.
if you find a secret, I really don't want to come back for it, so please don't. <laughs> okay, I've opened the portcullis. Yes, I heard it go kushlunk. Oh, it was just shot behind us. Hey, do you reckon this is High Priest? Grand High Priest. Oh, he's level 39. That's all right. We just killed a level 39. Did we? That monstrosity thing. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this one. Ow! Shit! Right, okay, I'm engaging. Yeah, me too. Crumbs, he is painful. He is. I'm trying to take out some of the ads because, right. Yeah, I've are. been taking out the ads. Okay, ads gone, going after him. I am massively taking down his health, but I need to run away for a moment. I'm dead. Oh I dear. was burning. Uh, drop the portal. Uh, sure, done. Coming back. Ow! Oh, dead again. That flame is just too powerful. Just don't He's stand right in it! <laughs> well, I, I couldn't get away in time. Once I was on fire and burning. Okay. Oh shit, that's full. Okay, going through him one more time. Got him. Still burning! Still burning! Still burning! Still oh my god. Ready. Right, oh, things! Flame Brand got... Sword, Crushing Will, Offhand. I got like two greens and a quest thing, but that was very painful. I think this, that's a. This looks uh, like your sort of thing. That is required level 43. <laughs> wow. Yes, that's my sort of thing. I mean, the other thing I got is this, which looks awesome as an item, but... Anyway, Writings of Zarthuzelon. Oh good, this is short. The one they call Uroboruk makes mockery of the gods. The Lord Executioner cut at his flesh, but the wounds refuse to bleed. His limbs grow back, his skin is impervious to flame. I believe the time has come for me to descend into that vile place and deal with the heathen myself. We shall see how he reacts to the cleansing flame of the divine. Speaking of skin impervious to flame, you know what I should have drunk before going into that combat? The fire resistant tonic? Flame drinker ointment! Yes, that would have probably helped. Um, right, so the Occultist is Arthurian's Codex of Spell Weaving. You're dual-wielding ranged weapons, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yeah, so you don't want that. No. Um, how about a revolving pistol, a pistol of darkness? Um, if you drop it, I'll let you know. No. <laughs> okay, let's grab that and... Let's talk to Calderos. You have destroyed the priest. Uh, yeah, it's finished. My master will be pleased for your service. I bestow upon you this key. It is the only way to unlock the ancient places of this world. Uh, so we've got a skeleton key and a blueprint skeleton key. Yes. Ancient places? Yes. Many doors were sealed long ago by an ancient powers now lost. Like this one, doors, right in front of us. The doors before you were secured by such means. But, I must warn you, the key will be destroyed once used, and the doors will not remain open for long. Once inside, the only way out is past the Lord Executioner, or through death. Uh, the Lord Executioner? Al Kamos. He was with the Arcovian charged with Uruk's torment. Now he will suffer for all eternity. I have another question. 
What lies beyond these doors? Uh, sealed up by Rubik himself after he doomed the Arcobians to their lifeless fate. Beyond them are the Arcobians he cursed to an eternity of only suffering. Only a fraction of the torment they put on upon him. You must be wary. The damned trap below will pose a far greater challenge than any you faced yet within these halls. Hmm. I have another question. Um, what was the purpose of the steps of torment? It was a place of torture and lifelong imprisonment for those the Arcobians deemed unworthy of their perfect society. In the end, it served as a prison for all necromancers of Arcobians. <laughs> all right, there, there's other questions that I can ask, but really, I don't care. So, you know, never mind. So, if we go through here, oh, to see if by an age of power requires a skeleton right. key. Um, if I could tell you a little bit about these, basically, there are a few places in the game that are like this, sealed by ancient power requires a skeleton key, and they are challenge dungeons. Ooh. Once you enter, you can't get out unless you die or finish it. Top tip don't do this on hardcore. <laughs> yeah. I, dying's already happened far too many times for my liking. Although, one thing about playing softcore is, you know, you die and then you just come charging back and <laughs> like, here I go! Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yes. Um, so, I don't think we should give it a go. I don't think we're powerful enough yet. I think we should probably aim to finish the main storyline and then come back to places like this. Well, given we're right here, right now... If you want to spend your skeleton key and open it, I will go inside, but I will not be happy about dying. Oh, I see you have. I might have accidentally pushed a button. Um, uh... Your connection to Rift Gates feels absent within this place. Subtle. Maybe, maybe we should go gamble up for like better weapons. For <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I just want to see how. How like? Well, it gets harder and harder the deeper you get. But the scary it is. I'm sure it will get harder, but you know. Thirty-seven. So that's not too bad so far. First and green I bit. can't wait to level up. I'm going to get my skill, and it's not going to be too bad. There, there's the entrance. Nice face. Yeah, this doesn't look intimidating at all. Anyway, oh, I was going to say, uh, can you come oh, out I'll come again? back up. All right. Yeah. I think this is probably a good point to call the end of this episode. Um, so thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, join us again next time, where we dive into the gates of anguish. It's suffering. Below us is suffering. Oh, sorry. Suffering. <laughs> See you soon.